Hello and welcome to the video, Prepare Your Welcome Message to Students. This video is part of a learning path provided by Teaching and Learning on the Faculty Learning Hub. It begins uh, with this video introduction and follows with more readings and resources about communicating with students at the start of your course. So I'll mention these resources again at the end of the video. So what is a course welcome message? A welcome message is first communication with students. It sets a positive tone and starts the course orientation process. A welcome message can provide um, a hello, a, a brief introduction to you as their professor, key information uh, about the course, such as the mode of delivery, wayfinding uh, information to get to class, and information about how to communicate with you and reach out to you when they have questions. You'll be communicating with students using your Conestoga College email account and more information about how to access the account is available on the Conestoga IT website. So there are two ways to send uh, course messages. The first is using your Conestoga Microsoft Outlook email account, and the second is your eConestoga course shell. So for the email way, you'll need to log into the employee portal first in order to get your students' email addresses. Go to the faculty tab and the class list section, then select your course from the list of courses that you're teaching and select the email uh, address book output type. The page will refresh when you do that. So once the page is refreshed, go back down to the bottom of the page and select the button class list to download an Excel sheet with all of the emails of students enrolled in your course on that day. Copy and paste the emails into the BCC field of the message you will send from your Conestoga email account. Now for the Econ Estoga way, you can send a message to students directly uh, from the course shell to their, uh, their Conestoga email accounts using the course mail feature. So navigate to your course shell and then select the course mail feature at the top of the page. It will change the screen to compose a new message and you'll need to add students to the send field. So once you have done that, you've uh, found the recipients and then added them. You can write and send your message. And once, as I've mentioned, that message will be sent to students' Conestoga email accounts. You can check your Microsoft Office email account for any replies or questions from students. What should go in your welcome message? If you are teaching an asynchronous, a fully online course, which has no real time classes, uh, you will want to include a warm welcome that announces your name and, and how you'd like to be addressed. Note that if you are teaching international students, uh, they, some of them may address you in a way that is more familiar to them from home. You'll add a hyperlink that takes students directly to, to your live eConestoga course shell for course information and proceeding with the course. An explanation about the mode of delivery, where and how the course will be available to them and how they should pursue it, per, proceed through it. And a brief statement welcoming students to reach out to you. Remind students that they must use Conestoga email only to communicate with you and that you will respond to them within two business days as per college-wide policy. Because you will not meet with students at all in real time, it's also a good idea to create a more detailed video introduction and orientation to the course and post it in the first course announcement on the home page. Now, if you're teaching a course that is fully or partly on campus, you will want to include all the information that is already on my screen that I already spoke about, as well as some more information. And crucially, uh, add the in-person scheduled class date, time, room, and meeting and, and campus. It's a good idea to check this information and double check it in the employee portal timetable, your port, your timetable a few times before class in case it changes. And also you may want to add a statement about required classroom personal protection equipment if applicable. 
be clear that appropriate PPE must be worn correctly at all times uh, for students to be able to participate in class. You may wish to attach a campus map to help students with wayfinding. Maps are available for download on the Conestoga uh, website. So I've just done a Google search for Conestoga and campus maps, and you'll see uh, if you scroll down here to the different campuses, uh, there is learn more sections and then each of these learn more sections is a PDF uh, that can be downloaded. Maps are also available on the, um, the Conestoga mobile app as well. And if you are teaching fully or partly on Zoom or Microsoft Teams, then you'll also want to include all of the information that's on my screen. In addition, you'll include the synchronous online meeting room link, which has been created by you in advance in the Conestoga Zoom portal. So the link to that port to the portal is also on the Conestoga IT site under Zoom meetings, and then go to Conestoga Zoom login. There it is right there. Include the password and other uh, meeting info to help students to be able to enter the room. It's also a good idea to add the link to the course, the, the link, the meeting room, the meeting link to the course shell calendar as well. So students have two ways of finding it. And you may wish to provide a link to IT support for students, such as the library's Tech Help and Tech Loans Teach Me Tech. So this Getting Tech Help um, web page can provide information to help students with um, any tech challenges they have. And students should be reminded that they must have appropriate technology and stable internet for synchronous online classes. All right, so here is a summary of the steps for uh, messaging students for the first time. The first two steps are to confirm your class schedule and mode of delivery in the employee portal timetable, and then compose a welcome message for your students that includes that information. Include relevant information as well, web links, campus maps, instructional plan, et cetera. And download, then finally, download the class email list to send to Microsoft Outlook or via Microsoft Outlook or send through the um, Econostoga course shell. And then finally, when should you send this uh, welcome message? Well, your message should be sent to your students. Uh, after the essential elements in Econostoga are available, which is three days before the class starts, and before your first class. So the first day of week one, I recommend as a great time to send this, um, this welcome message. Now that you have seen this video introduction, have a look at uh, additional information, additional hub readings uh, about this topic. See the hub post that provides a first um, welcome uh, template message, which you can adapt for different modes of delivery as well as personalize. And there are other, uh, there are links to other resources that can help you to learn more about Conestoga's communication tools and policies. Our micro courses, especially in the uh, teaching at Conestoga and teaching synchronously and asynchronously, micro credentials can give you more on uh, information for getting started with the course. And if you need additional help, uh, reach out to Teaching and Learning uh, at the email address that is on my screen, teachingandlearning at conestogac.on.ca. Thanks so much, everyone.